Sunday at pregame, people's champ Johnny Detroit. Quite aware that I'm scruffy, but I'm not shaving until tomorrow. I'm going to enjoy kickback, root on my fantasy football, root on my picks, watch my Detroit Lions. Yes, I am a homer. First things first, for all of you newbies who are watching this video for the first time, you're about to hear and see something that is not usually done in this industry, and I can guarantee you no other major player in the sports handicapping world is going to do what I'm about to do. Marco D'Angelo went 0 for 3. He gets rolled like the buffet when he shows up with an empty stomach. Vanderbilt gets their ass handed to him by Georgia. Syracuse loses outright. Utah gets their doors blown off. 0 and 3 for Marco. Now why am I saying this? Marco is one of my closest friends, not only in the industry, but in life. He's a great dude. He does tons of stuff for pregame. He's in the videos. He does radio. He's in the forums. He's probably one of the most valuable assets that pregame has. So why am I throwing him under the bus? And this is why. Transparency. The fact that for the past month I've come on this video, over the last 30 days, Marco has destroyed all sports. He's won close to 30 units. He has one really bad day. There's tons of pissed off people in the customer service queue. Rightfully so, because he got rolled. But the fact is, over the last 29 days, I've come out here and said how much Marco's been winning. So as one of the owners, I'm going to come out here and tell you, yes, Marco had a horrible day on Saturday. So that being said, we're going to move on. Vegas runner, the dude in the club shirts, no matter what. 8-2 overall when you factor in the mixed martial arts. He nails both of his triples. He is on a sick run, especially in the football. He's been destroying the Canadian football, college, preseason, NFL. He's only releasing his second NFL three-star max bomb. He's 1-0 on those today. He's 17-6 and in the week overall for 74%. And I'm making him the slash today. 7-30 and days, all access VR, get 20% off. Like I always say, do the math. Take what his package is today, times it by 7, times it by 30. What does it come out to? Look at the price I'm going to give you the 7 at 34. It's a great value. Definitely look into that. Dave Essler, Uncle Dave, 7 and 0 oh on Saturday. Props to you, my man. He has an NFC three-star going. He's 71% in 2012 when he releases a rare triple dime from Uncle Dave. Triple dime from Uncle Dave. Monday midnight, Jumbo, 500 gets you 1,000 packages expired. That's right, $500 in cash gets you $1,000 in pregame dollars to spend any way you want. I've been getting a lot of emails from people saying, what if I just want to follow a guy in a certain sport? What if I just want to buy Tony George when he's on a Big 12 game? Or Brian Leonard when he's on the Mac? Or Marco when he's releasing a triple dime? Or Dave when he's releasing a triple dime? Whatever it may be, Hook when he's doing some MMA. Well, you know what? The best deal going is you spend the five, you get $1,000 in credit. You'll be able to buy these daily packages when it fits your specific filters and needs for a long time coming. So once again, that's the best deal going. Don't forget NFL subscription packages. Locks in your favorite pregame pro through the Super Bowl. Expires Monday at midnight. And yes, the jumbo dollars are eligible to purchase those. Free selection for today. Before we get to that, it's going to be from Goodfellow. And to give props to Madman Producer. He went 5-0 and yesterday. There's a bunch of free picks loaded in the My Picks section. You can click the Streaks tab and go right to that. One of the picks is the Atlanta Braves. Free selection from Goodfellow, who has two triples going today. He's out of 5-1 and in the NFL for the week. He has a teaser of the day. Miami plus 8.5. That takes you through the 3 and the 7. In San Francisco and Minnesota, under 49. That takes you through the 44, 47, and 48. And what the hell does that mean? That's going to take us to the tip of the day. This is the first thing I want to say. Threes and sevens are not the same as in college football. Yes, there's value in them. But I had a couple people um, earlier in the week, there was a handicapper, there was a move on the line, and they were like over a static, the fact that they went off the key number. In college football, threes and sevens are not even close to what they're worth in the NFL. So what good's good fellas say, Miami plus eight and a half, it goes through the three and seven. Three is the most valuable number in the NFL. It's worth 21 cents. He's also going through the seven. That's worth 13 cents. So you're getting through 34 cents of value. Now over to the totals. You won't, wouldn't think so, but the number 44 is worth seven cents. The number 47 is worth seven cents, and the number 48 is worth eight cents. 41 is the most valuable number in the um, NFL totals at, four, at 10 cents. 51 is worth 11. 37 is worth 11, but those are not as common numbers that are put out there. 
So he's getting through three valuable numbers in totals, maybe not a three or seven, but enough that this has a positive play. So that's good, fellas. Free pick of the day. This is Johnny Detroit from me to you, and as always, good luck on Sunday.